So about a week ago, I got asked to do a tutorial on how I weather and stain my clothing that I wear underneath my armor. Here, I have a before picture. It's just a regular old cotton gray t-shirt. And then here, you can see the after effect for my weathering techniques. Instead of going through a long list of things, you can just pause the video here and then memorize what's on the screen or write it down or what have you. To start off on the t-shirt with the weathering technique, first I like to take a serrated knife and drag it along a lot of the seams, especially the places that would get a lot of wear and tear naturally on the fabric and the clothing. Um, you mainly want to make sure you just hit hem lines and just random places here and there on the shirt as well. Dragging the, uh, the serrated blade along the t-shirt in several different ways will produce different results. You could use the blade as it used to uh, to be just cut straight down or you can just drag it along sideways. You can see there that I'm using sandpaper to rough up the edges that I've already pre-cut. It just helps to fray the fabric just a little bit more. The particular grit of sandpaper isn't exactly irrelevant, um, but the grit that I use in this video here was 80 grit just because it was what I had on hand at the time. Once you have the fabric on your shirt pretty roughed up, uh, the next step I like to move to is the RIT die. Uh, it's just basically a die you can get from any Walmart or craft store, whatever you have around you closest. There's no exact pattern to the way that I actually put it on the shirt, or any of the clothing for that matter. Uh, you kind of just take a 2 inch chip brush, something like I have here, and you just paint it on there any which way you deem necessary, whatever best fits your liking I suppose. It's worth noting that paying particular attention to areas, like I mentioned earlier with the serrated knife, that would get more wear and tear to it, it's, it's a pretty good idea just to keep that in mind when you're painting on the die.
Here I just have a squirt bottle with some coffee into it. The amount you put on, just like the black dye earlier, it, it doesn't really have any exact uh, formula to it. You, just, you know, you kind of spitball it, and then whatever comes out comes out. It's worth noting though that the darker you make the coffee prior to spraying it on the shirt, the darker the stains will come out. My preference isn't exactly a science, I guess you could say. I just like to build up several layers, so I'll orient from using light coffee to darker tones of coffee. And then here, building up another layer of the black writ dye, just adds a little bit more texture to the shirt. The next on the list of the products that I like to use is wood stain. This is just a darker espresso wood stain. I don't really think it matters what color you get. I'm sure each one of them will hail different hues and what have you, but for the sake of having what's on availability at the time, I just decided to use what was around. So this will add a a mildly dark brown to the to the to the fabric. Uh, painting it on there again. There's no there's no real formula to it. You just you shoot for what you want, what you feel comfortable with doing, and then kind of just pray for the best. Usually, so far, I haven't had any troubles with it. It is worth noting, though, however, that using wood dye, although it will stain the fabrics, it also kind of leave a oily sheen feel to it after a while. So if that's something you're not particularly fond of having on your skin and you can probably shy away from it. Although drying it or washing the shirt after you're done uh, doing this method to it, uh, sh it, it shouldn't come off, but that should get rid of the sheen. I'm not really sure. I don't I don't really mind a little bit of grit on me when we're at our events, so I just choose to leave it as it is, wear it as soon as it's done and dry it off. Like a bad girl should. And finally, I hit the uh, t-shirt with another buildup of the coffee stain. And by this point, it's pretty wet still, so i got to leave it to dry. But that's that. Thanks for watching.